I've mentioned this person a couple times and I've tried to reach out to this person and cannot find the person, one person I can't find on the internet. <laughs> but I had a remarkable uh, experience my first year in college in a uh, English lit sort of course with David Brinkley, who was my professor at that point. And I obviously knew how to write and uh, had written some in high school. But he showed us how you can be so creative and express yourself through writing in that course. And that has stuck with me um, for however many years, that's uh, almost 30 some odd years now that uh, since I took that. Uh, But I mentioned before how I consider writing is a form of leisure and I enjoy the creative process. And I attribute much of that to David Brinkley and it was reinforced by my committee chair in Ohio State, uh, Chella, who English was his second language, uh, if that it could have been his third for all I know, but he wrote in ways that you think, my word, how do you express such a complex idea so elegantly and simplistically to where it just seems intuitive? Like how in the world did we all not think of this? <laughs> and it just shows the not only the strength of the written word and the fun you can have with it, but the power of the written word as well. So those two have made a big impact on me. Yeah, I would say, um, first of all, I would, to, to echo George's point, I think nobody in life gets anywhere without a coach. And so I don't care if that's a coach in the truest sense of the word, in terms of the sporting competition context or life coach or coach, you know, that's a teacher. But I would share the story of my high school coach who I wasn't necessarily high school basketball coach who I wouldn't say we had the greatest of relationship. I was like one of those um, many, many high school kids that thought I should have had more playing time and I should have been, you know, uh, the star of the team. But one of the things he used to always say to me that kind of as I reflect back on life, that held true was he was like, your best days are ahead of you. Not only in terms of being a basketball player, but the kind of personality that you have, you'll go a long ways in life because uh, of who you are that you don't even know yet. And so that always kind of stuck with me. I mean, he, he was almost prophetic in many ways when he would talk about certain players on the team the knucklehead who perhaps was getting all the minutes that I thought I should have had he would say certain things about that individual that rang true later on in life and he would say certain things about me and even though I thought he was doing something bad to me at the end of the day I reflect back and know that he was doing something for me Um, and so I think I would say you know my high school basketball coach um is somebody who at the time I didn't care too much for, but in looking back, um, I was better for going through that experience, if you will, even though at the time it was disappointing and, and embarrassing in some ways, um, you know, because I had a younger brother who played varsity in the 10th grade. I was a senior and he played more than me. And so, you know, I got teased at home about that all the time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to let us know what you think in the comments. And join in the conversation around this topic and more in the forum.